SciSpace has just blown the competition away again. So this is what I'll show you in this video. If you're exploring the literature for any purpose, so you're a student, maybe you're beginning your dissertation process, maybe you're working on your research proposal or thinking of a research idea, uh, or maybe you are a researcher or work in the industry and you need to explore uh, the knowledge base for any project, this is the tool that you should be using. So I'll show you the amazing search capabilities of this tool and how it speeds up the whole project by probably at least several hundred times. It's so good, it literally feels illegal, <laughs> but it's not. It feels like cheating, but it's not. Uh, and this is important because it's not doing anything illegal. It's not doing anything for you. It's just an amazing, amazing uh, search engine, essentially. So I do have other videos about SciSpace. SciSpace is a, is a tool, an overall useful tool for research. I have several videos. It's, it's the first uh, tool or platform I ever reviewed on this channel. Uh, in this video, I want to specifically focus on their, uh, on their deep search, basically deep uh, review option for doing literature reviews. It's been a while since I used this tool and, and today I just realized just how good it became in the meantime. So let's just quickly dive into these options and Imagine we're doing a literature review. This morning I had an idea, so it will already be in these uh, searches, previous uh, searches, but I had this idea, what if I decided that I want to do research, let's say it has to do something with the impact of TikTok on uh, on our youth. Uh, so imagine you're, you're just beginning the literature review, you don't really have a strong idea, but this is something I, I suspect I want to just explore the gap in this area. So. Um, let's say, so you can see there are some searches, but uh, influence of TikTok on communication or on social skills, social skills. Uh, so that's generally what I'm trying to figure out. I, I'm, I have this rough idea, let's just, let's just click and explore the literature. So previously, in the previous versions of SciSpace, it was already quite a good option. If you remember, it gave you several articles, some summaries, but here uh, it takes this whole search to another level because uh, what it's doing now is, is preparing for this this proper deep dive, this proper deep research. So it's essentially like an AI agent, if you know this, uh, this concept from other AI tools. So it's asking me now uh, to clarify, to, to narrow down these, uh, these searches. Uh, so for example, what is the specific focus? What kind of social skills? What kind of uh, audience? So all sorts of things. And in fact, I don't know and I don't have to know all the answers, but let's just narrow it down a little bit. So uh, so I was thinking I, I can literally just talk to it like I talk to a human. Again, it's it's probably based on some open AI a, uh, API or something. So it's pretty intelligent, so to speak. So I was thinking um, communication, communication skills uh, among uh, teenagers. Then I'll say on TikTok and in any context. And once I click now, so I did narrow it down a little bit. Once I clicked on it, uh, it's basically beginning this process that I mentioned. So beginning the process, you can see it says 10% done. And you can see the whole thought process. So everything that's involved, how it's reviewing and, and searching all that literature. So it does take a while, but you can see that it's searching. There's lots of things, lots of different uh, sources it's considering. It's explaining what's happening. So here it says, Relevant queries are, are being explored. So influence of TikTok on communication skills among teenagers in various contexts, um, some other stuff basically. So it's exp explaining the whole process. What we need to do is just wait patiently. Uh, and it definitely pays off and makes sense to wait because you'll see just how good the results of this query will be. And by the way, as we're waiting, uh, it is a, a mainly, mostly a paid tool. As always, there is a free, uh, option free version for you to explore it. But uh, after that, you know, I believe you have to pay for more advanced options. However, it is pretty affordable, I would say so it makes sense even to buy it for one month, if you need to buy it just for one month, just to explore that literature, I do offer. Uh, there are some links in the description where you can find some uh, some discounts if you follow my links. So again, I do believe it makes sense. I mean, imagine just using that for a month. And like I said, it literally uh, improves the process, speeds the, uh, the process up by several, probably hundred uh, times. So you can see now it's all done, and here is basically like a, like a little summary. So it used to do that as well, but now it's it's just better. So let me just 
explore what it says. So you can see it's almost, it, it is a table of contents. So there is things it found about positive influence and negative influence and all sorts of things basically. So that's what it, it does. So, so this is my first quick review or quick summary of the literature generally to get a feel of the topic. And, and this is, there is no way to overstate just how great and mind blowing this part is. Uh, because honestly, this is the part when I was doing my PhD, which wasn't that long ago, believe it or not, it was seven years ago now, eight years actually. And this is the part that was definitely the most time consuming, just trying to get a feel of the literature. And as I said, it's not cheating, because of course, you'll be reading these things, but it's just helping you sift through all the things that you probably don't need as well. So, so you can see what it says, different topics. Uh, of course, it does provide the, uh, the literature straight away, I can go into that source, or I can start engaging with that source as I'll show you in a second. But here is generally general feel of it. I can uh, rephrase it, I can refine the, the search terms, obviously, at any point. But here is my first exposure to this topic to get a feel of what we know. Uh, some of them are maybe a little bit less relevant, some of them are more relevant, but I'll take it. It's it's still amazing. Uh, so here you can see some comparative analysis, all sorts of things. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. And now here is the familiar thing that we had before, before this, uh, this new upgrade. Uh, so here you have this actual literature, you have the insights. So again, I can see what's happening in each paper, roughly more or less. So here you can see, for example, this paper in the case of TikTok videos, enhance students speaking skills, uh, observations and interviews revealed. So everything that I need to know is basically there for me to understand if I want to engage with that article, if I want to download it. And as I scroll down, it's, it just keeps generating more and more. I don't know if there is a limit, there's probably some limit. Uh, it does say here 20 out of 171, which is unbelievable. Um, and it's just, and I can just keep scrolling and, and exploring. Then, as I explained in my original video about uh, about SciSpace, there's so much more stuff that you can uh, that you can do. There are some options here. You can obviously sort everything and export. You can request it, so you don't get immediate access if the the article is behind paywall. But what you can also do. I don't know what access it does give you, but since you're a university student, you do have access to many articles that are behind paywall through your institution, through your university library website. That's what I used to do as a student. However, these services are not anywhere near as good in searching the literature. So you can combine this, you can combine SciSpace with that. So even if you don't get access to some of these articles, you can then go to your your library service and and just get access to this, but but use SciSpace for searches, you can chat about specific articles, which is great. So uh, let's see if I can I don't know if I can chat about any article, but let's try asking a question. So I don't really have a question. I didn't didn't really register the actual summary of the article. But um, let's say I know it did mention some methods, but let's say uh, what methods were used. And as you can see, it does generate this detailed breakdown of methods. Again, absolutely amazing. Obviously, I can ask any questions. If I had any specific questions, I could ask what kind of social skills, what kind of communication? Um, or you know what I could ask? Does the article? Does the article provide any mention of research? gaps to be explored. Because maybe I'm thinking of filling and addressing that research gap with my research. As you can see, it, it did generate a response. And again, it, it does talk about research, research gaps, I'm not sure if they are openly discussed as such as gaps in this study, or or maybe it's drawing from uh, the design of the study and then making conclusions as to what kind of other what other designs could be used. Uh, let's just have a quick read. So it's the latter. So basically, it's making intelligent uh, claims based on the article. So for example, if it says the study highlights the strengths and weaknesses of school based learning alongside TikTok usage, then it tells me future research could investigate 
how to effectively integrate. So, so it's even better. So I can obviously find, as I always do, uh, a gold mine of ideas in the further research section of each article. But here it also helps me by drawing from generally the design of the article of the study and helping me think about research gaps. So, so you can see how amazing a tool it is. So this is it. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from this video. It was a spontaneous decision to record it because I sat down, look at this tool and I was pretty amazed by just how good it has become since the last time I used it. And it was pretty good at that stage already. So uh, please uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to ask me questions in the comments. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. My goal is to develop this channel considerably in the next months. So any help would be greatly appreciated. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.